Let's talk about the square root of 3 and where that comes from. Now in electronics we memorize the square root of 2, it's 1.414. But in three-phase power we memorize the square root of 3, it's 1.732. Let's take a look at a, a generator, a delta connected generator. We can see that the coils are connected in delta and they're physically 120 degrees apart in the generator and they're electrically 120 degrees apart. This coil 1, 2, and 3, this is phase A, B, and C, and the current flows in a counterclockwise direction. Now we can represent these, the current in these coils as phasors. It's these red lines here. Now a phasor is just a vector where the tails are tied in a point and they rotate around that point there. Now we want to determine the current in A. Now we know that the, the current in coil 1 is flowing in this direction and 3 is flowing in this direction. So we can move this coil this vector up to here this green one here and we'll call that minus 3 now for vectors you can take the uh, the, co the tail of one vector and put it on the head of the other vector and you can determine the force in, in this direction and if we did that scale that out we could just physically measure that and find our current in A but we'll do it mathematically now what we're going to do is we're going to take an imaginary line and we're going to take it uh, perpendicular to this vector and draw it over to this point here. This is going to form a right triangle, two right triangles. Now, we can determine this, this length here with some trig. And we know that the, uh, the sine of a 30 degree angle times the hypotenuse will be equal to this, this distance here. Sine of 30 degrees is 0.5 times 2. That's going to be 1. This is an imaginary number. In math, you'll see a, a little i before it. But we've used the i already, so we're going to use a lowercase j for an imaginary number. But we're not going to deal with imaginary numbers. This is a 1. This is a 2. We're going to use Pythagorean's theorem. Now, we're always calculating for the hypotenuse and Pythagorean theorem. But for, for b, b is equal to the square root of c squared plus minus, excuse me, minus a squared. Now, c squared is... 2 times 2 is 4, and a squared is going to be 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So this side here is going to be equal to the square root of 3. We can determine that with trig also. We can take the, uh, the cosine of this 30 degree angle times the hypotenuse. Now the cosine of 30 degrees is 0 0.866025 times 2. It's going to be 1.732, the square root of 3. So this is square root of 3. This is going to be the square root of 3 in this triangle also. We can just add those together to get our amperage, or we can take the square root of 3 times the current in the coil, and we come up with 3.46 amps coming out of the generator. That's where we get the square root of 3, but we just memorize the uh, 1.732. Thank you.